Do you ever feel like you're living the same relationship nightmare on repeat? Like you're trapped in your own version of Groundhog Day, doomed to make the same mistakes and experience the same heartache, the same arguments, the same toxic partners, the same toxic cycles? It's exhausting, isn't it? The question is, why do we seem to repeat the same dysfunctional relationship dynamics even when they leave us feeling frustrated and hurt? Why do some individuals continuously find themselves in codependent relationships or are repeatedly drawn to emotionally unavailable partners? What you're experiencing is called negative relationship patterns. These are dysfunctional, unwanted behaviors, thoughts and situations that repeat in your love life, harming your connections and undermining your happiness. Some of these part patterns are obvious, while others might operate below your conscious awareness. I, for example, had a tendency to always get involved with emotionally unavailable men or I would be with partners who simply could not be there for me the way I needed them because they had a troubled life. For me, it was sabotaging the relationships. I was stuck in a cycle of whenever the relationship would reach the point to be serious, I would find something that would just make it a deal breaker for me, even though realistically it wasn't. There are many negative patterns that can occur in our love life, and some of the most common ones that we hear from our clients are codependency, trust issues, communication challenges, or ending up with emotionally unavailable partners. There is also hypercriticism, neediness, counterdependency, and many, many others. Let us know in the comments or send us an email if you would like um, for us to share more details about some of them. What we want to focus on in this video is understanding why we keep repeating those behaviors or finding ourselves in the same situations even though they are obviously harmful for us. First of all, blaming yourself or saying, oh, how stupid I am, after yet another pain painful experience, can never bring any good to you. You need to approach yourself with compassion and gentleness first. There are forces that are beyond your reach at the moment that are pushing you into these situations, but you're not helpless. To be able to respond with compassion towards yourself, you need to understand what these forces are and how they influence you. So, why do we keep falling into the same patterns? There are several reasons that contribute to our tendency to repeat destructive behavioral patterns. One of the reasons is that we repeat what is familiar. Because we are creatures of habits, we gravitate towards the familiar even when it's harmful. This is especially true for those who experience dysfunctional patterns or trauma in childhood. These dysfunctional relationship patterns feel very familiar and comfortable, so they are hard to resist. Even when consciously aware of their toxicity, change feels really hard. Slipping back into the familiar way of doing things seems easier than the hard work of learning and consistently practicing new skills. This is especially amplified during times of stress. When our nervous system becomes overloaded, our emotions feel overwhelming and our bodies surge with adrenaline. Choosing a radically different response can feel almost impossible in these times. We also repeat learned behaviors and beliefs. The beliefs, coping mechanisms and behavior patterns that we learned in childhood become deeply ingrained within us. Unworthiness and the belief that I don't deserve healthy love are major drivers of accepting unhealthy treatment in adulthood. We may also have learned to employ defense mechanisms like shutting down emotionally or lashing out in an attempt to protect ourselves from further emotional pain, even if these defenses are ultimately harmful for our connections. Negative relationship patterns are often a legacy. 
it passed down from our from one generation from our parents to the next one we remain at the risk of repeating them until we address the core trauma underlying these harmful dynamics and until we cultivate a deep sense of self-worth believing we deserve love respect and healthy relationships another reason is that we unconsciously desire to gain mastery over trauma. If we experience the rejection, lack of love, or powerlessness as children, for example, we may unconsciously recreate similar experiences in adulthood. This subconscious attempt to gain mastery over past traumas can lead us to seek relationships where we feel similarly, hoping to change the outcome and heal ourselves. However, we often end up choosing partners and friends who treat us as our parents did, perpetuating this painful cycle. The repetition of problematic behaviors has roots in our neurology. Our brains favor familiar neural pathways. These well-established paths represent the least energy-consuming way to process information and respond to situations. This is why change can feel so, so, so hard even when we consciously desire it. Our brains are wired for efficiency and new behaviors require the creation of new neural pathways, a process that takes time and consistent effort. I always remember our dogs <laughs> and the paths that they created through our property. The first time they ran through our orchard, they likely had to forge their way through taller grass, which was not that comfortable probably. <laughs> but with each trip, the same path became easier to follow. Soon it became their clear preference. Even if a shorter route existed, they stuck to the same trail because just it was easier. Our neurons function similarly. Once a pathway is established through rep repetition, it becomes a default choice for our brains. This is why it's so difficult to break habits and change patterns, even when they don't serve us well. Yes, but the good news is that you have the power to change these patterns. It takes courage, self-awareness and a willingness to do the work, but it is definitely possible. The first step is recognizing the patterns that are holding you back. That's why we created a free negative relationship pattern assessments to help you pinpoint the specific dynamics that might be sabotaging your love life. You can find the link in the description below this video. Once you see these patterns clearly, you can start to challenge the underlying beliefs and behaviors that keep you stuck. Our Break the Cycle course is your roadmap to heal your past, break free from negative patterns and become a master of your love life. So check out the link at the description below this video as well. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.